Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing the Supernova 1000 G2 power supply from EVGA. We'll use the power supply in a build of a Xeon workstation for video editing. So, um, what's this? Wow. <laughs> so there's a bag, I guess, uh, for storing cables that aren't immediately used in the build. Amazing. Yeah, uh, it has all the cables we'll need. Motherboard, drive, CPU. There's also a set of red cables in the box. Uh, so um, so the PCIe cables are color-coded. This gets better and better. Um, the unit will power a video editing workstation that will eventually house dual Xeons and a pair of um, 980 Ti video cards. So I went with the 1000 watt power supply to make sure there was plenty of juice. The Supernova, it's um, a modular power supply. So what that means is that the cables are attached to the uh, power supply using a plug-in socket system. Uh, let, let me see. Um, it's sort of like the power in your home. So your fridge isn't wired directly into your house. You plug it into a socket in the wall. You can plug it in, but you can also unplug it when you get a new fridge. I suppose it might be easier to think about a modular power supply like an extension cord. You only uh, add the cables you need, so you don't end up with a lot of useless cables cluttering things up. Of course, if you look inside a power supply, you'll see that it's actually a very complex electronic device. It's way more involved than the extension cord suggests, but for the purpose of understanding modularity, the extension cord is probably a reasonable metaphor. Um, I still can't get over this packaging. I mean, it's so EVGA is so thoughtful in its presentation. This is just a power supply. This is not the sexiest component by any means, but this packaging makes me feel like I purchased something remarkable. Steve Jobs called this feeling um, delight. It was actually one of his design priorities. I honestly never imagined I'd feel this way about a power supply. Great job, EVGA. Great job. Um, so when it comes to power supply, Johnny Guru is the man. That guy's got a natural fascination for the things, and I think that's what makes him so good at studying them. So before I bought this, I researched his findings at johnnyguru.com. I suggest you do the same. Anyway. He gave this power supply a solid A rating with a 94%. The lowest mark he gave it was for value, but he was working from a price that was about 20% more than what I paid on any Amazon. If he had used that price, his rating probably would have been a few points higher. Um, his breakdown was uh, performance, 10 out of 10. Functionality, 9 out of 10. Value, 8.5 out of 10, but I think that was just a matter of timing. And um, build quality, 9.5 out of 10. That's a solid A anyway, you look at it, and my sense is it should have been higher. Anyway, enough unboxing, let's install this thing. The first thing you should do is make sure you have a good filter for the air coming into the power supply. The uh, Corsair 760T case that I'm using for this mid-range build has a good filter. Um, and it's actually pretty straightforward. You place the power supply in the box. You tighten down the screws. Plug in a few cables. What I do is I pull them back into the wiring closet in the back of the case, and then I pull them back into the interior close to where they'll get used. Then you just plug them in. Each cable is marked um, on both ends, so it's pretty easy to do. Once you get all the wires plugged in, you should just be able to fire it up. 